Hello VC, I'm back again, and yes, it's a vinyl watch. It's that time again, and I've got a fair selection of records to show you that I thought I'd share with you. Um, right, first one. Now, if you watched my last vinyl watch, um, I was talking about a, some records that I got um, that were two for a quid. Um... And I came up with five of them and I thought, oh, I said, oh, I must have got a CD or something. Well, I didn't. I picked something else up. So I'm going to start this video off with a, with a, a thing that I should have shown last time. And this cost me 50p, which I think was a bit of a bargain. It's 150 top 10 country hits. Um, it's one of those Reader's Digest box sets, but I couldn't believe this cost 50p. Um... I mean, it's got, you know, it's all size of, of of country. It starts off with Hank Williams, you go through the Lubin Brothers, got Gene Autry on here, um, Eddie Arnold, Slim Whitman, Rosemary. Um, you've got great name, Pee Wee King and the Golden West Cowboys, Tennessee Ernie Ford's on here, Wanda Jackson, Floyd Kramer, and it's Tub. Everly's, uh, kind of Lester Flatmill Scruggs, Bob Willis, Bob Wills, sorry, not Bob Willis. And that's just the first two records. I mean, it goes on, it sort of goes, I guess it goes, so it's obviously from the late 40s, 50, early 50s, I guess, to mid 70s, I would guess. Don't know what the date actually is on this. But you kind of got Tanya Tucker on the last few, last album, Tanya Tucker. You've got Bonnie Tyler's on here. For some reason, it's a heartache. Mm. Dolly's on it. So, but I couldn't, I couldn't leave that behind for 50p. I really, really couldn't. So there we go. And if you want to, I don't know whether that's going to be big enough, but that is every track that's on it. Absolutely chock full right so there we go 150 country hits 50p what does that work out as a song don't know it's like three songs for a penny <laughs> ridiculous right um i've mentioned before my my absolute love for early 70s shirley bassey records um i've got something and i've got another one which i've completely forgot oh i capricorn which are both great records. And I knew that there was a charity shop that um, had a couple more. So I went back there solely to pick these up, providing they were in good condition. I didn't check the condition when I looked at them before. <coughs> but they turned out they were. So I got this one, which is Never, Never, Never. Never, Never, Never. Um, it kind of mixed in the show tunes with the more current tracks so on here you've got things like um never 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 which is kind of i think it's an italian pop song um things like the old-fashioned way mixed up with things like killing me softly with his song no regrets is on here just i just love the sound of these early 70s bassy records they are lush the sound is just lush I just think the production by Noel Rogers just suits suited her to a T. And it's this one not not quite rare for her. It's look at that. There we go. Dame Shirley. So splendid all, all round really. Loved that album. And then I also got which that one was released I think in seventy three. Yeah, 73. And I think this one was released in 74. Or 72. Or maybe the other way around. But it's another... This is um, another Noel Rogers production. Same kind of formula. Um, it's got Without You. It's got First Time I Ever, Ever I Saw Your Face. And I Love You So. It's also got one of the most upbeat bassy songs, Jezahel. It is fabulous, absolutely brilliant. I think, was it Headley that showed that, that got me into that song for the first time? Was it Headley? 
I can't remember now. I'm sure he'll watch this and say, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Um, terrific stuff, though. Same, same lush production. Just absolutely gorgeous record. There we go. Right. And then in the same... They added some records when I went back, and I managed to pick up a couple of other decent records. I picked up this, which is Phil Spe Spectre's Greatest Hits. Another crap, quid purchase. I mean, this is just... These songs are in the DNA of, of, of pop music, aren't they? I mean, just absolutely amazing songs. This is a reissue of um, Phil Spector's Greatest Hits. Um, originally it came with a, a free copy of the Christmas album which is but obviously this was sold later because it's been blanked out but I've got the Christmas album on CB, CD so if I ever see a proper decent copy then I'll get it but um, just hit after hit after hit just amazing stuff River Deep Mountain High Then He Kissed Me Be My Baby Proud Mary, although that's the Checkmates version, not the um, I Can Tina version. Uh, you've lost that love and feeling, the do Ron Ron, he's a rebel. Unchained Melody, I mean, how many people have covered that? Walking in the Rain, baby, I love you. Just absolutely fantastic stuff. Absolutely just brilliant pop music. There we go. Bill Spector's Greatest Hits. And I also picked this up, which was an interesting find. I don't think it's a complete album. It's a reissue of Gene Vincent's uh, Ain't That Too Much. Now, this is not from the 50s. This is from sessions that he did in 60, around 66, I think. Um, trying to sort of become relevant again and sell some records. Um... This is great stuff. I think it misses a couple of tracks off the original issue. But to be honest, this is just great stuff. Um, ain't that too much. Bird Dog in Love is a Bird. Lonely Street. I mean, he, he sings some ballads on it. More ballady stuff rather than just pure rock and roll. Um, but it's kind of like a, a more... It's getting to a more garage... Almost garagey sound. It's not... There's no fuzz on here at all. But... It's that definite 60s sound, which which you wouldn't guess that this was a 60s record from the pictures, which is pure 50s. But great pickup. Played this again today. Played this a couple of times now, and it's, it's a good record. Really lovely stuff. Gene Vincent. And then in a, another shop that was just along the way from there, um, I managed to pick this up. And this was this is a great listen. I love this. I'm sure John Downing showed this. I think he did. Right, so this is Musical Youth, The Youth of Today, their debut album from 1982, I think. It, of course, he's got Past the Duchy on it. I mean, that, that song was ubiquitous in 82. The autumn of 82, I just remember it so well. Um, also got... What was the other really big... There was another... Wait a minute, Mirror, Mirror, Young Generation... I can't remember what the other singles were off it. I think they, they did have another hit, but I can't remember which one it was. Youth of Today, was it? I don't know. Um, but this is a surprisingly good reggae album. Um, it's not like a cash-in job at all. They've tried to really go and make a proper album that would compete with the best of, you know, anybody, to be honest. I mean, it's got good... It's got a decent production on it. They try and add some dub effects on certain songs. Um... Ooh, I wonder why that's got... Oh, maybe it's the white of the thing making the screen darker, I don't know. Um, terrific stuff. Terrific stuff. And um, I don't know if I've actually looked at this yet. So with this, it's got lyrics. It's got a rather nice comic strip on the A side with There's the Man, Mr. Peel. Um, who obviously gave them a bit of a break at some point, I'm not sure. And also, it, it even came 
If I can unfold it. Come on. Upside down. There we go. What a lovely poster of the lads. I was chuffed when I found this for a quid. So yeah, past the duchy. Oh, need to restick this a little bit. Uh, it's a bit. Yeah, the glue's just coming loose. So that's no problem. Not a proper seam split, just a just a bit of loose glue. Right, and uh, around the same time, I also went. Uh, they had the bi-monthly record fair in Exeter, and um, didn't spend an awful lot. Only spent a tenner on these on three records. But there's sort of there's some good stuff here. So the first one I picked up, I saw for two quid, and I thought, right, I'm going to finally get this. I've been meaning to get this for ages. So it's a soundtrack from 2001, Space Odyssey. Um, I love the soundtrack to this film. And at the moment, I would say this is my favourite film of all time. I just sit there absorbed by it. It's just an amazing film. Open the pod day pod doors, huh? How? Just love it. And I particularly like the um, the Getty um, track, the Getty composed um, pieces of music. So Lux Eterna and the other one is Atmospheres. Um, I did play this while my daughter was around and um, she just said, ooh, it's freaky. Because the Getty used voices in quite a, a new way. Um, which is, if, you, if you've seen the film, you'll know. I think it's, is it the scene where they find one of the monoliths on the moon is accompanied by Ligeti, I think. I think that's the right bit. Anyway, I've been after this for a little while, so it was really nice to pick up a copy. It's not brilliant condition, it's a bit crackly, but it's listenable, so I'll be looking out for an upgrade. But um, two quid, I was going to pick it up. I've seen this in charity shops around for silly money. I don't know why. Really scratched up copies for a tenner. Just stupid. Um, there we go. 2001. This next one was a quid and I'm so glad I found it. It is a cracking record. It's Dwight Yoakam's first album. Um, guitars, Cadillacs, etc, etc. It is a cracking record. Really, really cracking. Um, apparently they were put out on some kind of EP first, some of the tracks, and then he added four more songs to, um, make it into an album. There's the man sitting on the, leaning against the hood of a caddy. Just phenomenal stuff. Um, love, just honky tonk man, guitars, Cadillacs, 20 years, does it? I didn't like it at first, but I'm get now I've played this a few times and getting into it is his version of Ring of Fire. It's very much more upbeat version of it. Although Ring of Fire is quite an upbeat song, but it's it's not got the gravitas that Johnny Cash brings to his singing, but it's still really good. Um and there's a duet with Maria McKee from um Lone Justice on here as well. Um I like Maria McKee. A lot of people slate the set that Lone Justice second album, but yeah, I can understand that, but I like it. Anyway, so there we go. Dwight Yoakam, Guitars, Cadillacs, etc. etc. Great album. And then the star of this batch, I couldn't believe this for the price I got this. It was only seven quid. And I think it's a very early pressing, I'm not sure. Sounds great. Bit of Graham. Grievous Angel. What an album. This is just phenomenal stuff. Absolutely love it. Um, seven quid. I mean, it was marked. I, I, when I peeled the sticker off, I'm sure it was. It had been reduced. Lovely reprise label. Upside down, but you know what it looks like. Um, when I peeled the top price sticker off, it was 20 quid underneath. Uh, I don't know why it'd been reduced to seven. I'm so surprised somebody hadn't picked that up before. Just fantastic. Star of star of this batch. Absolute star. 
so pleased to have got a gram on vinyl. I've had I've had the the double you know the two for CD, the one with GP and this on it, but now I've just got to look out for GP now. Right, absolutely fabulous stuff. Love a bit of gram. Right, okay. So that's it. Little batch of records, ten or so. Plenty of good listening there. And that's it. So I'm going to come back with uh, my Cover Mount EPs Part 2 as soon as this is uploaded. But these, since I've got a new phone, um, the file size of these videos, I know the quality is better and the sound is better, but the file size has gone bonkers. So it takes four or five hours to upload a video now because they're all two gig videos. It's ridiculous. Um, but I think it's worth it for the quality. So when when this is finally uploaded, then I will record the part two of the cover mounts. Right. So thanks for watching, and thank you very much for any new subscribers. It's such a pleasure when I hear that little ping on my phone and it pops up and tells me, "Ah, oh, you got a new subscriber." Thank you so much, and uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all very, 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 very soon. Cheers, VC. Bye.